Hello, my name is Dan Piercy. I have a web storefront at dpiercyscomics.com. It's part of the shops at CBSI, comic book speculating and investing. Shout out to those guys. With that housekeeping out of the way, I just want to verbalize that I don't want to take up a lot of your time, but I do want to show you some of these books that I just got back from CGC. Let's have a look, shall we? So we'll start off with this. This is Harley Quinn number one from the New 52 2014 series. This is one I actually bought off the newsstand and read, Living Dangerously, and then I sent it in to get graded. Knew it had a shot at 9.8, pretty happy with the result. I buy, read, and sell a lot of Harley Quinn stuff. This is one I will either sell or be happy to keep in the personal collection. So, yeah. Here we have Han Solo number one, the John Tyler Christopher Besman action figure variant. I bought this directly off his website at one of the pre-sales. I've done that a handful of times. And I've been pretty happy with the results um, given the eye test with this, holding at different angles under bright lights, etc. Pretty sure this had was a 9.8 and it was. By reading saw a lot of Star Wars stuff. This is one I'll probably sell. It's still a beautiful book. Han Solo number one. John Tyler Christopher Marion. Moving right along. This is another John Tyler Christopher variant that I bought directly from his website. Poe Dameron number one, an 8.5. Disappointing. The greatest notes. Uh, it has it has a crease right here, almost like it was folded over, almost. <clears throat> the crease is non-color breaking. Um, I missed it. Holding it at an angle, you can see it. This is something that would probably press out, but sad face for the Poe Dameron number one in 8.5. Now we have the pick of the litter, Wonder Woman 184 from 2002, the vintage comic cover uh, from Adam Hughes. There's only 29 of these on the CGC census in 9.8. I bought this off eBay. I bought a handful of these on eBay. Knew this had a shot at 9.8. When I got the grade back, I was pretty excited. Buy and sell a lot of Wonder Woman stuff. And uh, this is one I'll either sell or keep for the personal collection. So that's it for this haul. I only submitted four books because I wasn't entirely confident with the CGC cases after the recall. But I have to say, I like these cases. They're sturdy. I had concerns about the, the, the prism rings that people have talked about. But this lot, they're pretty much non-existent. I mean, uh, if you hold them at an angle under a bright light, yeah, you can see the rainbow effect where the two plastics uh, are in contact. But pff, straight on at an angle under normal lighting, they're not there, not an issue. As far as CGC versus CBCS, I like both companies. I'll continue to submit to both depending on circumstance and convenience. We'll see. That's it from me. And maybe I'll see you next time. See ya.